Fellow viewers, welcome once again to Smart Agro Innovation, your channel that teaches smart, innovative ideas in the field of agriculture, ranging from non-traditional farming to um, plantain. I believe that when you go online now, if you want much more information about plantain sucker and non-traditional farming like snails, I think it is Smart Agro Innovation. Today we are going to talk about mating. We are going to talk about the sexuality of snails. There have been so many arguments that snails are that, snails are that. Today, we are going to clear those doubts with an evidence. You know, we have a video where snails were mating. You know, we have been able to follow most of their sexual activities. And today, very soon, I'm going to show you the video. But before the video, um, let me give a brief um, introduction about the whole thing. When it comes to sexuality of snails, snails are naturally hermaphrodite. If you say something is hermaphrodite, then it means that it possesses both the male and the female organs. That is the sex organs. That is either it is a penis or excuse me to say a vagina or something. One snail contains both. Therefore, they meet each other. To fertilize their eggs we know that when you even go into let's say humans we know that females produces eggs that is the ovum so every snail also produces what ovum but it has a male part and during the sexual intercourse they both meet it has to be within two snails before they can get their eggs fertilized per our observation now the male, one male, one sna uh, snail has a male and a female part. So what they do is that at sexual maturity, if a snail reaches a sexual maturity stage, what they do is that they use their special receptacles or their special organs to detect from afar which snail is also on it and ready for copulation or sexual intercourse or mating so as soon as they detect that they come together because they use their senses yeah there is a sense organ that detects that indeed there is a particular snail here which is also on heat so they use that to detect themselves and then they come together once they get close to each other they use their tentacles that long thing there you know that is what they use you see that um the both will release their tentacles and then kind of playing some romance here and there in fact it is very very interesting very soon you are going to watch all those things so when it happened that way what happens <coughs> is that um, there is a particular organs in there you will see that one will you know release eight pennies and the other will also release it so they penetrate through each other like this Let's say this is the vagina of this one. This is the penis of it. It will become like this. Then it will be inside. It can last for over two hours or more during their sexual intercourse until their eggs are completely fertilized. Until they release their hormones into each other. And that is when they detach and then they move and go their way. As soon as the eggs become fertilized, then the snail will lay the eggs down. As the egg is being laid, then it will also take about 21 days upward before, if all conditions becomes equal, then it hatch. Once the eggs hatch and the small, small, small snails also come into being, then they also move their way, eat and perform all the life processes before they also become matured and the process continues so that is how the whole thing is without wasting much time let us go and watch how the whole video goes how they made you see they have penetrated each other in fact it is very very interesting let's go and watch this is simply a natural phenomenon in 
the life of snail. This is a garden snail. You can see that indeed they are mating. Um, literature tells us that snails are originally hermaphrodite. That is what many literature says. Well, as it true or not, this is a mating between two snails. As you can see, that these are their sexual organs and they are mating. You see, this is how it is. Yes, indeed, they are hermaphrodite. You see that. Each has penetrated each other. Hmm. I don't know whether that is the penis or something. You know, you see that this one is entering this and this aspect. You can see that there's two things all together here. Yeah. If you watch it clearly, two things. So this one is entering this. And this one is also entering this. Yeah. So you can see that they are mating. They both have the male and the female organs. Uh -huh. So this is how their mating process goes. If you just join it in, then what you see here is a mating between two snails. Yeah. Each has penetrated each other. This is their organs. Yeah. We are watching closely. You see? Hmm. This is how mating occurs in snows. Smart Agro Innovation. As we always say, we we'll go deep to let you understand many, many, many things. In the field of agriculture, we have time for every creature. We want to understand certain things that they do. Snails are naturally hermaphrodite. They have both female and the male organs. You can see the phenomenon happening right now. You see that they both have penetrated each other. Yes. You can see that the observation is there. Mm -hmm. So that is how mating occurs in snails. Should you want to know more, then subscribe to our channel. We we'll keep you updated. Yes, you can see that they are naturally hermaphrodite. This one, there is, there is penetration here. And let's say this is the penis of this. It has penetrated the vagina of this. This is the penny of this. It has penetrated the vagina of this. Yeah, so simple. You only see this uh, at Smart Agri Innovation Backyard. We don't want to disturb them. If not, we would have shown you how they are going to remove. You see that there are some slimy thing, just like having sex. The normal, natural copulation in even human. Now, this is the video that you're going to watch about how the snails perform their copulation or mating. You see that they are naturally hermaphrodite. They penetrate each other and that is it i want to remind you once again that please if you have not subscribed kindly subscribe to our channel like it share to other farmers to also see what is going on on smart agro innovation should you have any question kindly go into the comment box and then ask all the necessary questions and we will attend to you should you need much more information you can also contact us on our contact provided before the video 
ends. Thank you very much. I'm Anthony Beidou, the main brain behind Smart Agro Innovation. I'm an independent consultant when it comes to agri stuff. I'm not just a professional farmer. I'm a farmer on the field. I didn't just go to school to read agriculture. No, but I'm a farmer and a practical farmer with a research base. We only come out with things that we have seen ourselves, things that we have tried ourselves. That is what we put out there for the consumption of our dear farmers. Thank you very much for watching. We are located in West Africa, Ghana. And if you want us or you want to know our location, then we are located within the Western North region. Thank you very much. May God bless us all.